I'm working my way through the API challenges at apichallenges.herokuapp.com and I'm tracking my challenges, which means every request before I issue it, I must have an X challenger ID, which I can get by issuing a post request to the slash challenger endpoint. And all the requests I'm doing are using the same X challenger GUID, so they're all being tracked on the same page. Now this next challenge is to get to do's with a specific ID. So I need to know what IDs are there. So if I look at my previous request, which was a get to do's, which I can simply repeat or send that. Then if I look at the actual response, I can see that there's a bunch of to do's being returned. So here's the ID 25 and that should match this pay invoices. So if I duplicate this get to do's request to be get to do for a specific ID, create that. Then instead of slash to do's, I want to put in a slash ID. I can't remember what it was. Was it 25? Let me just have a look back to do's 25. So if I issue this request, get HTTPS API challenges .com slash to do slash 25, we should see the details for to do 25. So let's come back and you can see that what's returned is a label mapping onto an array of objects. And there's only one object in there, which is the to do that we wanted and the response is a 200. So there's the full actual response headers coming back. And if I refresh the GUI now, that challenge should be complete because we managed to get a specific to do from the system. Remember that could be 26, that could be any of the IDs for the to do's in the system. So I can know how to now get all the to do's or to get a specific to do by putting it in the URL. If you want to work through the challenges yourself, you can find all the information you need at eviltester.com slash API challenges or head off directly to the API challenges application page at apichallenges.herokuapp.com. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're kept up to date with any of the videos we're at least showing API challenges or APIs in general or testing in general. We have a lot of content here. Subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.